Much has been said about Ria Vea since its launch on the 30th of August. Most of this has been focused on some of the operational glitches the system experienced or the reaction from the taxi industry. So much so that a few basic questions can easily be forgotten. Does the system work? And what does Ria Vea mean to the city of Johannesburg? The city's transportation executive director, Lisa Seftal, said at the launch that she was pleased with how years of work have finally come together. It's just absolutely amazing. I can't believe that it's actually happened, that the buses have gone on smoothly, that there's so much commuter excitement. I think if we just saw the Soweto buses coming past now, they were chock-a-block full, and um, we just hope that everything will go well. Obviously, there have been teething problems. We've also seen the doors don't open, but I think the public will take it with the spirit that is intended, that this is a process, we're all involved, and we want to make it work. At the launch, Transport Minister Sibo Siso Ndebele emphasized one particular sea change the BRT system will bring about unlocking the city's nightlife. All current public transport systems stop working when the sun goes down. However, the BRT system, running until late, will allow people dependent on taxis, metro rail or metro bus to go out at night. I think we must now accept our people as free people, free to work, but also free to enjoy themselves out there. And uh, you do that when we're in London, you do that when we're in New York, in Atlanta, we call a taxi anytime, it's available, it takes you and it's, you know, it's going to take you to exactly that address and, and so forth. We have not yet reached that level. It's a huge opportunity. Some of us may have heard the words mind the gap in London when stepping on the tube, but never in Johannesburg. Now, however, times have changed. With the current starter service to grow as next year's World Cup approaches and the fleet of 40 buses to grow to 143 buses, it is hoped Johannesburg's BRT system will smooth the way for the introduction of similar systems in Durban, Cape Town and Port Elizabeth.